right, we have a small lizard in the next room. Just got some uh, titanic seizures. Of course, all evidence. Uh, better about bone disease, except for having a rather soft skeleton is kind of uh, null and void. They have uh, the right lights, although they might be the wrong kind of lights. I haven't really haven't figured that out yet, but everything I'm, they're telling them sounds like they're doing the right thing. Anyway, the bad news is on this fecal, you can actually see a, uh, a protozoa of unknown speciation floating around there, causing some problems in this guy's stool. Um, anyway, so we'll obviously go ahead and treat for that, but I just don't see this species very often or at all. So I thought I would get some video of it. Very cool. Later. That was really was not that soft. All right. I'm going to talk to the camera now instead of the client. Um, <laughs> all right. We're getting a very small beardy. Um, I think you've had him for how long? About two years. About two years? Okay. Has he ever been to a vet yet? No. No. All right. So this is the first time to a vet. So he's virgin to this thing. And I already stuck a swab up his butt. So... That virgin thing is gone out the window. All right, um, I even called it our my, called it our first date. Uh, anyway, uh, he actually when I first brought him in, maybe he was just trying to stay warm, but his stance was not quite that tall, and he actually looks a little bit more alert now than he did a few minutes ago. Um, it turns out that he does have a very severe protozoal neuritis. I usually rate protozoa problems or any problem in the stool from zero to four. I'm going to call this a three to four. Uh, I actually took some video of some of those things swimming around, and although I saw hundreds of them, I only videoed two of those, so you just have to understand the numbers. Anyway, this is a species that I don't normally see in fecals. Um, those of you who have watched this channel have probably heard the word trichomonas more times than you want to hear. This is a protozoal enteritis that does not involve trichomonas. So we're going to go ahead and start him with some treatment, and hopefully we will have, within about a week, a lizard who is standing taller, acting better, and eating more regularly. Okay. All right. That's it for now. Later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, same small beauty dragon. Here's another one of those organisms in the stool. I'm trying to focus in and out of it. It's moving. It's running away. All right, anyway, when you see stool, you hope it's all dead. Sometimes you see things dancing around inside there. That's usually a sign of pathology. There you go. That's pathology. This is the reason that I like to do direct smears. There is no fecal flotation. There is no concentration technique ever that will make these things show up that much or that well. All right, there you go. Very cool. Later.